Hi, I'm Renee Merrill from Free Motion Mastery in a Month, and in this video I'm going to show you how to join pre-quilted blocks to make a quilt. So here are my two pieces of quilted block that I need to sew together, and I'm going to begin with a one inch joining strip that's going to go on the front, and a one and a three quarter inch joining strip that is going to get folded in half and sewn to the back. So step one is that I take the strips, I put the black one on the back, I put the front one on the front, and then I sew them on with an exact three quarter inch, sorry, exact quarter inch seam allowance. And it's really important that this be exact. So if you need to use your quarter inch foot or mark it with a line, but this needs to be exactly a quarter of an inch. My second step is you're gonna take the front joining strip and you're gonna press it up from the seam. Make sure that it goes all the way up from the seam so that you get all the width of it available to you for the next part. And on the back, you're gonna see that there's a shelf along here and this part here is half an inch wide. So your next step is you're gonna turn this over to the front and take your second piece and put your face, second piece face to face with the front piece and line it up with the edge of the joining strip. And you can pin that or you can, if you're feeling confident, you can just hold it there. Um, it's going to look like this on the back. And then your next step is you're going to come right here along that shelf and you're going to sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance right down the middle of that shelf. Now here's the magic. When you flatten these pieces out, the two quarter inch seam allowances mush up together and they close the gap between the blocks. So on the front, you see a nice half inch wide joining strip. And on the back, you can see these two pieces smushing up against each other. You want them nice and tight, but you don't want them to overlap. Next, step four, is you're going to take that back joining strip and you're gonna press it up. And again, make sure you get it all up from the seam. And you may wanna make sure that it covers the seam right here. So give that a good press and get it nice and secure there. And then step five, is you're going to take a little bit of glue. I don't have my glue bottle here, but you can you can imagine it. Okay, just a little bit of um, I like to use Elmer's school glue, any kind of non-toxic water soluble glue. Just put a little bit under there, and then take your iron, a nice hot iron. In about three to five seconds, it's going to set that glue, and then nothing is moving. But when you wash the quilt, it will wash out. The last step then is you go back to the front of your quilt, and you're going to put a line of stitch in the ditch right along the edge of the joining strip. And when you do that, on the back side, it's going to catch the folded edge of the back joining strip and give you a nice clean finish. So there you go. That's what the back looks like. That's what the front looks like. And that's how you put together pre-quilted um, blocks to make a quilt. If you'd like to learn more about uh, Free Motion Mastery in a Month, please visit www.freemotionmasteryinamonth.com. There's a link right here below the box that you can click on to go there. Thanks for watching.